Hello everyone, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will decorate this world that we have here in our scene. So the first stuff that we are going to do is to add some fences. Okay, we can do it. Uh, let me take this here. I will grab the fences here in the world tile maps. We have fences and in the tile palette uh, we should have fences right here as well. So make sure the active tile map is set to fences. Usually do when you press something here that will correspond to what happened in the tile map. So if I change it, it will change here as well. So I will grab fences. It is active as fences. And I can see that I have it right here, down here. This is our fences. Now, with a paintbrush, we can paint fences around our house probably. Whatever you need actually. Um, I will put some fences probably as the backyard. So I'll put some fences right there. And I will put some here as well. So I will leave some space for the player to pass. And I can put fences also up. Oh, up and down here. They will automatically change. To be like this vertical image. So now I can go into my house. I can't go anywhere here. But I can have a little garden here in the middle. This seems cool. Let's save this scene. And let's see if the colliders of the fences are working. At least it looks good. So the colliders are working. I can't go here. Oh, I can pass here, what is actually pretty funny. I can go around my house. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's cool, that's cool. No problem with that. Now, we can also add some footsteps. So we have something here that is called the footsteps. If we go to the mid-ground, it will change to mid-ground as well. Grab the footsteps. And now you can paint, for example, this entrance right here. You can paint it. So the players see that he can go there. Uh, this is pretty funny. I will paint mine something as this, like the entrance of the house. And this should be actually enough uh, for me. Or you can do a path to a village or something. For example, I will put mine going down here, crossing this little lake, for example. Okay, something like that. Now that we are on the mid-ground, we can also add this little piece here uh, that is some kind of wall. So, for example, I can put this into something like this uh, behind my scene. Or something like this to make the impression that this is a, a big wall behind the fences and then putting in the just the corners to fill in and let me erase this here let me erase these two dots and i will put this also here and here so now if our if our camera passes here uh, we won't see the transparent stuff here but we will see these rocks what is actually pretty fine uh and they have collision, so we can't also go there, but that's another detail. You can also do these kind of walls uh, somewhere here if you want, and so on. It's actually, you can use this in many ways. I will just leave that as background because we are not getting much space here uh, for now. The guys at Unity were also pretty nice because they also had some animated trees. So if I deselect stuff here, uh, if I go here somewhere, Overing this tree collection, for example, or so on. And, and if I take out my active tile map, so I can right click. And if I put environment, I can add some tree right here. It says add animated tree one here. So if I press here, it will add a tree. And you can see that the tree is already a prefab inside my animated tree collection folder. And you can move the, the tree now uh, to wherever you want. I will leave mine maybe, for example, right here. Uh, I will put another one right there. I will call it tree 
number two to see the difference. And I will add another one, probably close to the house. Somewhere right here. Okay, it seems okay. You can also add some leaves. So if you press here, you see that in the environment we add leaves. Like they have fallen from the tree. Uh, let's let's press play and see if this is working fine. Okay, this looks good. You see that the tree is moving because they have an animation. Uh, we have the fade effect for that part of the tree, what which is very nice. And they have the collision on the bark. Let's see this one right here. Okay, the collision on this one is a little weird. Maybe it needs to be adjusted. Let's go to the other side and test the other one. Okay, even the leaves are animated, that's so nice. Um, I feel like this tree bark should have a better collision. But anyway, that's just a small detail. Let's keep moving on. Now that we are fulfilling a lot of elements, we can also add uh, some clouds. So the clouds should be somewhere here. Art, sprites. Animated environment. No, get back. Environment. Okay, there we go. We have cloud 1, 2 and 3 here. And we can send them. There is already a folder called animated clouds inside world tile maps. So I'll grab one of these and put it into here. And now if I press F, I can see it in my scene. They are exactly here. And what you need to do is putting these into 2000, for example, that will get them on top of even the roof. And you can scale them. So I will scale these a lot because usually clouds are big. Something like this. And Maybe I can drag it so it gets a little better of a design choice. Maybe something like this will do. Let me play and see if this is working. And if it feels okay. Oh, it feels okay. And actually the, the clouds are animated, they are moving, which is pretty nice. Let's go back, let's save what we have right now. We are almost done here. If you are the kind of people that have attention to detail, you must, uh, you must have seen that if we right click here, we have decorations and we have some bushes, for example, and you can really put some stuff into your scene with this and give it a nice look, a nice feeling of being actually a house. And I will leave that to you. I won't do much here now. Um, maybe I just do some symmetry here with some different bushes and different plants. But that's really it. Uh, I hope you can take the stuff here and do something cool on your own. Because that's, that's really the point of these tutorials. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial. In the next one, uh, we will add some NPCs uh, on other characters to our scene. And it should be really fun. So stay tuned. Uh, thank you a lot for watching. I will see you there. Stay awesome.